Hey, good Fox here. So today I'm going to do a lineup update. I bought all the draft players I could. Obviously, we didn't get a right guard or a left tackle in the first round. They gave us f three right tackles, so I was only, I only got one there. Um, and some guys that are we starting, I, I did, they're for chem purposes or they're their respective draft person. So at the first play of the game, uh, before it even happens, after the kickoff, Kelvin's going to go in there for Keenan. Uh, but so let's go through. Uh, what I wanted to do with the chems on the right side of the screen here is I wanted to max out Quan Barkley and then physical front, of course. Uh, those are my two favorite. My favorite chems are physical front, toughness, not toughness, because speed. Pound the rock, though. The reason I did this is take a look at what uh, Barkley's transformed into with full tier pound the rock and the trucking motivator. My goodness. 99 looseness, 99 trucking with 96 speed. This is glorious looking. Uh, the 97 Juke, of course, so I haven't yet used him. Uh, we will get some gameplay of this team hopefully out on the channel today. I'll get into game right after recording this and uh, uploading it. We got Baker there at uh, starting quarterback with Lamar backing him up, so we'll be playing games with both of, the, both of them. We'll probably end up getting, you know, luck and uh, so on, and so we'll play a lot of uh, quarterback games. We got a lot of content to put on the channel with the new cards put in the game, um, but there's the offensive line. I don't know if you, if, if you want to go through the stats of these guys. We'll go back to the uh quarterback or the wide receivers and stuff in a second there's quentin nelson i guess i could just full-on compare him um so nelson there at the 93 run block is not the greatest but uh, frank's also a 93 run block but he gets boosted up plus four uh, so he'll get the 97 run block 97 pass block for frank at center whereas quentin's just a good pass blocker with eh, speed um i guess we'll keep going right tackle let's go to let's see what mike's Mike's working with. He's also got Pound the Rock Chem, so he gets his run block up to 99, which is not bad at all. And 94 pass block. No red chems on these draft cards, which is kind of disappointing. I was hoping for some red chems, but I guess we'll just have to, you know, keep investing those Ultimate Legends or other cards. Hayden Hurst at tight end. Um, we compare him to Kellen Winslow here, my backup for, you know, Pound the Rock Chem purposes. So, not great speed, not good run blocking. Um, he doesn't even have the route running threshold of 91. So Hayden looks kind of like a, a bad tight end just by looking at the stats. But we'll test him on the field, see how he plays for us. Um, but I'm not too, I would say, assured or self-assured. I don't know what the word I'm looking for. Optimistic about the way he'll play for us. All right. Let's go take a look at DJ versus Kelvin for the wide receiver spot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's too bad DJ doesn't have the route running at 91. So that really sucks. I would guess his best spot would then be at, like, uh, wide receiver three. And then Kelvin would be in the outside because of the route running. Wide receiver three, you don't need route running as bad because you don't have as many out routes there. You know, the routes that need that 91 break. So I think that's what uh, Kelvin's going to be on the outside. Irvin's going to be on the outside. We'll take a look at Irvin, what, he, what's he's, uh, what he's got, too, with the playmaker cam. So that's actually nice to have a playmaker on the field is, is pretty glitchy. The rest of the stats, I mean, look at those mid to high 90s for everything. Yeah, so hopefully Irvin's going to be a, a good time there. So there's the offense. Uh, oh, did I look through Baker Mayfield? No, I didn't. Compare Baker to uh, Lamar Jackson. So I don't have Baker's uh, go deep maxed out, which kind of sucks. Lamar Jackson, his... How disappointing is this card for Lamar Jackson? Probably the biggest disappointment of draft night. And that's including the lack of content for like a half hour on draft night. 84 throw deep with 88 speed. It's a joke. But Baker on the left is looking pretty solid. He can get up to 98 throw power, Look, I think. Wait. How much do I have go deep boosted? Oh, I have go deep boosted the throw, throw power one. So I think you get throw power. Yeah, I think it throw power up to 99 then. I can get three more throw power on the uh, Baker. So maybe like another video, maybe I'll try maximum go deep. Uh, but uh, we'll, we'll see. Because then 96, it, I mean, you could definitely tell the difference between it. So Baker's, Baker's looking glitchy if you can get go deep maxed out. Um, go over to defense here. Like I said, a lot of these guys, for, for chem purposes, are backed up. Like Fitzpatrick's there. Vanderish is there. Roquan should be starting over DeMario, Jermon Edwards. Mack there. Ward. Davenport. Yeah. So, all right. Let's go through the, let's go through the stats quick here on all these. Maybe we'll just see if I can match up all the DBs against uh, this position. Uh, against free safety. So, their overalls will look different, but their stats stay the same underneath. Underneath it all, like Shakira said, 93 speed for both of them. Hmm. Derwin James, though, I think is looking a little bit better because he has physical front. He can get his hit power up to 99. A six foot three strong safety with that kind of speed and hit power at 99. Who's that remind you of? 
Mr. Cam Chancellor. He's basically a Cam Chancellor light with no secure tackler. So, not bad at all. But uh, Fitzpatrick here, he doesn't look too spectacular, unfortunately. No good red chem. No good chems in general. Um, zone coverage is high, but after 91, it's like bleh. Six foot one, so not extraordinarily tall. It's a no hit power. Nothing really stands out there at the uh, free safety spot for us. Oh, wait. I was going to look it up. Let's look. I guess let's go to uh, cornerback position. Ward versus Alexander. Ward obviously takes his home with a 97. Like, every stat's higher, except for zone coverage, and, and uh, that's about it. Let's take a look at their run block, or sorry, their block shed. 79 versus 58. 58 block shed for a cornerback is pathetic. Green Bay got themselves a loser. Actually, I don't know. I'm just that's around. Hit power 66. Yeah, at least for at least for Mutt this year, Jerry Alexander's a, a loser. Yeah, but and, and I think uh, we'll see, we'll see if Green Bay can turn him into like Casey Hayward once he leaves them. All right, Mike Hughes. I guess he's yeah, he's the last one to compare. 92 speed on a cornerback. That's a linebacker speed. That's pathetic. Yeah, so overall, these uh, cornerbacks look fucking terrible. Absolutely terrible. Slow. Weak. Effeminate. I mean, not effeminate, but they do look really bad, which is unfortunate. Fortunate. Uh, Bradley Chubb versus Davenport here. So Chubb kind of looks a lot like a... 3-4 defensive end with the 83 speed versus the you know higher end speed you expect at a 4-3. Davenport doesn't look like much of anything at all. I feel like an Android here. Um, 86 speed, so it's solid speed there. Um, a block shed. You can't boost it up with uh, physical front. Power move 95, finesse move 89. You can't even boost this power move with read and react. Yeah. I hope these guys play better. But Davenport 6-7. Pretty nice. Sneaky user. Uh, he'd be a great uh, spy. All right, let's go. Payne versus Vey. So, Payne gets up to 98 block shed here with physical front tier 5. Glorious. This is actually a really good card. Um, not too expensive. Whereas Vita, 93 block shed and no physical front. Pathetic. Pathetic. This is a really bad card. I mean... Plus five block shed at the most important position for block shed. Vita Vey is looking absolutely terrible compared. It's interesting. Like Payne was what one pick ahead of Vey, or was Payne one pick behind him? I can't recall. But Pay is significantly better than Vey. That's just like the small little differences that make all the world. All right, let's go, Mac, Mister Mac, with the under pressure cam that people are saying was nerfed to hell. I haven't used them since he first came out, but they say it was a stealth nerf to under pressure. EA not tell us about it, but and that'd, that'd go along with what we expect out of them. So 99 block shed, 96 power move, 98 finesse move. That's a good looking card. And then when I get back to my regular team and I put my power move motivator, finesse move motivator in, goodness gracious, great balls of fire. 6-3 with 92 speed. That's pretty good too. It's a good user, good pass rusher. Let's take a look at that zone coverage. What do you got for us in zone? I don't think you're 91, are you? Trash. No, just kidding. 86 zone. Not the greatest. 92, though, on uh, Layton over there. So Layton's a good drop. Uh, outside linebacker. The problem is he's too slow to really take advantage of his great zone coverage. 85 speeds on the borderline is slow right now. Okay, let's take a look at our middle linebackers, compare him, and then we'll, we will end the video and get gameplay out later. Today is the ideal time. Uh, but no promises. I never promise. 6-5 with 91 speed. Oh, my God. That's a good user. 99 block shed at middle linebacker. Rip run. Player 93. Eh, Pursuit 98. Okay. Solid. Not sure how much they, they matter as versus previous years when play rec definitely mattered. Like in 15 and 16. I think it was 16. Was it 15 that I tested? I think it tested play rec in 15. I remember Jack Ham was crazy there. But anyways... Yeah, maybe it's vying for the number one user in the game right now with Edwards. The problem is his hands. His hands hold him back. It's catching at 66. We'll see if he's uh, doing any dropping. It was like Kelvin. You, you could tell the difference in catching user and Kelvin versus more stiff linebackers. 
and talking about Steph Agility at 87, which that was a little higher. So there's there's the lineup, all the draft players. Um, so catch me with the gameplay here later today. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the lineup update. I'm hoping they play well without red chems, but uh, I guess we will find out shortly. So thanks for watching Call to Action. I'll see you tomorrow.